Hello, 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 hello. How you doing? Hey, it's Dr. Adishan with Crush NCLEX Review. I want to give you the tip of the day today. I'm going to talk about the next gen NCLEX. Listen, these are the things you must know about the next gen. The next gen is not hard. Okay, get that out of the head. It's the same exam. All right, we just restructure it. We change the formatting. That's all. Now, on the next gen exam, remember that your NCLEX has 52 normal NCLEX questions. It's the same traditional questions. Select all that apply. You're going to click on, uh, you know, images. You're going to have to drag and drop. It's the same stuff. So 52 questions out of your NCLEX is actually normal questions, right? The other 18 additional questions are the next gen questions. So if you don't even know the regular normal NCLEX questions, you're going to fail the test. You see that? So there's 85 questions they're going to ask you on the test, right? 18 of them are going to be next gen, but those next gen usually comes either like, you know, clinical cases. So in a case, you usually have six questions all stacked together, right? So if it's a six question test, uh, a case, right? Or you can get a single standalone question. So if you get one case, you can get a couple of standalone that goes along with maybe 12 standalones and then six cases. You can get three cases and that's not good. Or you can get two cases and other standalone. You see that? It's easy. Now you got that. Great. 85 questions. Your goal is to finish in 85 questions, but don't freak out. What happens after 85 questions and I did not, it doesn't say the exam doesn't shut off. Nothing. You're just going to keep getting the regular NCLEX questions you always got. There's no more next gen question. You see that? So which means when you're studying for your NCLEX, which is this next gen, you got to know the NCLEX just as it was before. But there's only one caveat. What makes this clinical case is different from what you guys are used for? Let me tell you the reason what happened. So I've been working in the hospital for the last 10 years and I've, I've worked with very, very excellent nurses and I've worked with some really, really not so good nurses, right? And the not so good nurses, they are hurting the patients because they don't understand when the patient is sick, right? Patients will be on the med surge floor with a blood pressure of 60 over 40 and a nurse takes a vital signs and walks out of the room. Now you might say it's not gonna happen to you, but guess what? The problem is, your patient is hypotensive and maybe that patient is bleeding. Maybe that patient is hypotensive because they're dehydrated. Maybe just because your patient is hypotensive because they have septic shock. As a nurse, if you so notice a heart rate of 120, a blood pressure of 60 over 40, your patient is probably undergoing sepsis or some underlying something bad is going on, which means you need to call a doctor, get them in the room so you can stabilize. And you should be able to put two large ball IVs of 18 gauge and start them on normal saline after you get an order from your doctor. So what the Board of Nursing have noticed over the years is that the training that we're getting in our nursing school is not adequate enough to prepare you from the clinical world so you can make clinical judgments. A clinical judgment is just a fancy word for us. When you walk into the room and something is wrong with your patient, not that they're stable with normal vital signs, abnormal vital signs, something is wrong with them, you address it. Maybe they high, you know, you walk in and the patient is comatose and they're hypoglycemic because their sugar is like 40 or they're having a seizure. Like recognizing and knowing what you have to do next is super important in taking care and providing adequate care. That is the reason why they came up with the next gen because they're noticing the amount of clinical acumen. A lot of people are going to nursing and the problem we're having is that some of them are just going for the money. And then when you get to the hospital and able to manage patients appropriately and patients are dying, they're getting disabled, problems are happening. So the board of nurses started to make sure that Nurses that are graduating are clinically competent. They recognize sick from non-sick patients and we can intervene appropriately in the right time. Because think about it, if your patient's blood sugar is 40 and you didn't check that sugar, you gave insulin and you didn't go back and check your sugar after 30 minutes, and your patient's bottom might become hypoglycemic because insulin drops your uh, uh, glucose level inside the bloodstream, guess what? The patient died. And that's serious. This is why it matters. Because if that was your mom or your dad, you wouldn't want that to happen. You want a good nurse to take care of your parents, right? That's why we implemented this. So the next gen is to test you to see if I give you a patient. And remember, as a nurse, they'll give you two, three, four, sometimes four patients to manage all at once. And you have to prioritize. A patient that's having, you know, asthma exacerbation that's wheezing versus somebody that's having pain. Who are you going to go see first? You are going to go see that patient with asthma exacerbation because they're having respiratory issues. A, B, C, right? C, A, B, C. Circulation, airway, breathing, right? So if their airway is compromised and you know they can't breathe, you got to give them albuterol. You got to treat them. You got to give them hypertropium. You got to give them steroids. You got to stabilize them. And when their respiration is better and they're no longer wheezing, you can go to a patient who has who wants dilated for pain. You can go see that next patient. Does that make sense? That's why we created Next Gen NCLEX. So I'm going to be giving a lot of tips inside this group so you guys are ready and equipped. And don't worry. I got your back. My team's got your back. We're going to help you pass your NCLEX on your very next attempt. I'll see you at the top. Take care.